Hey everyone, this is Sam from Prism Scroll with day three of progress updates for 2020. Um, all right, so yesterday was more of a patch notes, small fixes sort of day. So kind of gonna go over some of those. So uh, half of the day was kind of spent on the Prism Sheets app. So uh, one thing that somebody mentioned was that they wanted to be able to add or edit sheets from the pre-made sheets so basically we added that option so what you can do is when you create a new sheet you can select pre-made and then pick a page that you want to add to a new sheet so basically you could pick it and then say if you want to include the text boxes and the elements that are already on it or not you know if you want to just have it blank and then add your own sort of thing so that is an option with the the prism sheets app um, just on a side note with that uh, it's sort of been on the back burner just because the player app and the DM app sort of take precedence. But uh, basically the goals for the Sheets app are that to get it over to the new UI and all the new views that have kind of are in the player app, you know, are better tailored just from my experience. So basically the new new creation process that I've been doing for the custom creator and the character creation and the player app, I want to get over here. So that's kind of the main goal with that at the moment. And then um, just moving over to the player app, some small changes. So basically with smaller screens kind of changed how this view looks. Um, uh, it's it's got some ovals on it instead of circles so that you can actually see everything and everything's a little bit smaller for condensed screens. And then for the um, review page, uh, the card was too big in landscape for iPad. So fix some things with basically with iPad and then some really small screens made some changes there. Um, also, somebody mentioned that I had was calculating hit points wrong for multi-classing. So we kind of took care of that can uh, provide you with an example. So let's say we're Artificer Bard, maybe. Actually, let's make sure. Fighter, okay. So when you roll hit points now, um, your multi-classed will not get the full uh, uh, hit dice amount as if you were the only your base class at level one is going to get that and that's what was incorrect basically when you multi-classed you got more hp than you should have so um that is now fixed in character creation and level up so thanks for that um got to fix that um now back into the original uh the main thing that we're working on right now is features um it's not working here, but um, basically with features, uh, I have decided that I don't think I'm going to finish everything because it's just going to take too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of divide it up and then uh, release it in that sense. So basically, I'm not going to finish all the special effects. I'm just only going to finish a small amount and make sure that they're working throughout the entire app instead of getting them all and then ending up in the same spot. But the the there's going to be six special effects that are released in the first batch, which are spells, armor class, uh, ability scores, um, skills, charges, so like usages, and then um, speed. Uh, so those are going to be the first six that get imp implemented, and that was just kind of uh, what I did with setup for today uh, from uh, kind of the end of yesterday. So hopefully there'll be some more details about that tomorrow. So stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. Can't see the dog today, but, um, all right, later.